Pay my gratitude to Dr. Forrest and Dr. David Fisher, uh, who has helped me in doing observation, and also the other members of the department and uh, for cooperating with me during the observation. You know, Bangladesh is a small country with a population of 160 million people in a small area. Uh, which is uh, 60 times smaller than Canada, but the population is uh, about five times greater than Canada. But the uh, whole um, area is full of grain with many rivers throughout the country, and the forest, mangrove forest, and the largest beach in Asia. Now, the presentation. Our presentation is surgical pathology in Dhaka Dental College Hospital, Bangladesh. This is Dhaka Dental College Hospital, situated all in the middle of Dhaka City. And objective of this presentation is to identify the frequency of oral and residual surgical pathologies in Dhaka Dental College Hospital in 2040 to find out the disease pattern within the population to provide insight into the treatment procedures and the implications for the health system of Bangladesh. Dhaka Dental College Hospital um, is one of the only government institution in Bangladesh which is um, leading the dentistry in Bangladesh. Though there are other units, eight units of um, dental, dental unit in medical colleges and other 13 private Dental institution, but uh, dentistry is mainly leading by uh, Dhaka Dental College Hospital. With um, it has 110, 108 bed total bed in the department of oral and medicinal surgery, 60 pre bed and 40 paying bed with eight cabins. In 2014, we had. 877 patients admitted. You see, the main patients are more than female with 114 children. And the distribution of pathology is like this. Benign tumor was 150, and malignant tumor 220. And most of the patients were um, tra with trauma. And some other diseases. You can see cystic lesion, TMJ and callosis, rectal palate, facial asymmetry and infections. If you see the benign tumor, it was 17% of the total pathology. And most of the benign tumors are amyloblastoma, about 45% of the total benign tumors. And amyloblastoma, for amyloblastoma, we assess the lesion if the lesion is small and to preserve the control of bone. And dredging method we use in case of big cases, large um, involvement, it is a conservative approach. And uh, by this method, we facilitate bone formation in the mandible or maxilla. Mainly, we do it for mandible. And if the um, area is involvement is more, then we reject the area with surrounding healthy bone and go for the reconstruction. Vascular fibula we used and sometimes we use reconstruction plate only. This is the dredging method which we are using and um, I have to inform you that this method um, is used, uh, introduced by our department and now this method is used in India, China and Korea in different departments. <coughs> in this method, at first, um, we take, uh, we replicate the lesion and keep a opening by uh, closing the margins and give dressing to the cavity, in the cavity. Gradually, the 
uh, we initiate bone formation and we wait for two months. After two months, we remove the scar again and facilitate bone formation again and then we take radiograph and biopsy for uh, three times like this. If the tumor is completely removed, then close the area. By this time, so, so for real blastomas, so, so that's not what we would consider doing for a real blastoma here. Yeah. Because we would probably consider wide resection. Uh, if the uh, age, patient's age is um, not um, so older, mm -hmm. then uh, we, figure we want to uh, facilitate bone formation. I would say looking at that, if you showed me that x-ray, I'd say that's probably a vintage cyst. Yeah. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look classic for a meal blastoma, but I may be wrong, so. Oh, this is angioblastoma histopathological report okay. of the lesion in the angioblastoma. Interesting. Yeah. And cyst also, uh, it, it may be carotid cyst, dentistal cyst, and uh, sometimes myxoma also like this lesion, right. radiological finding. But um, this lesion is angioblastoma in histopathological report. Interesting. So, and same kind of lesion we get. Yeah. <coughs> You see the sequential bone formation. This is first radiograph after two months of uh, inflation of the lesion. Uh, this is the radiograph, and after this is uh, after uh, removal of the lesion. Sequentially, this three times we have done this kind of surgery, and this is gradual formation of bone after six months, and this is after nine months. And this is after 12 months. What, what are you doing at the two month intervals when you re out? Um, at first, we create the tumor. Right. Then close the area, mm -hmm. opening, keeping the opening, and we go the closer we have uh, we do. Then, after two months, we get, during this time, we give dressing. Only wash the area, everything. And um, then, um, after two months, we initiate, <laughs> remove the scar mark, the scar from the bone cavity again and uh, send for histopathology and uh, we close the not we do not close the area and keep another two months again again we send uh, remove the scar and send for histopathology until we get the clearance of uh, tumor uh, for two times if we get two times clearance of tumor then we close the area but this time bone from this is copied. Here you can see the angioblastoma. We have used the construction plate only. Uh, we do not go for vascular um, graft always. We cannot go due to our patient's financial condition and also our availability of the department. This is non vascularized tubular graft for the reconstruction of mandible. And this is vascularized tubular graft for reconstruction. And we are doing this um, now exclusively if the patient can afford and our department has availability of uh, scope. What would you do if the patient couldn't afford? Um, this is, uh, one is, uh, it is time consuming. It takes about, uh, if we do start it in the morning, 8 o'clock, it takes about 3 to um, 3 p.m. Yeah. We cannot do another surgery in this time. In this uh, during this time, we have two operation theaters. We have to operate many patients, and also sometimes patients um, have to stay in the hospital for about three to four weeks. Right. This is also one reason. But if the patient couldn't afford to pay, mm -hmm. how would you manage this patient? Uh, in that cases, um, we uh, we have poor fund in our department. Sometimes if the patient is a candidate for this. Good candidate for this operation for mm -hmm. the last similar graft. We um, help the patient from the fund. I see. This is also a similar similar graft. This patient was operated at the age of two years um, for neurofibroma in the medieval. And after uh, the age of uh, 12, she was operated with um, only. Titanium plate with non vascularist IJ crest and fibula graft. IJ crest and, uh, um, and uh, 
did that. This too was done by the Australia, certainly in our country. But the, uh, there was complication with plate and the failure of the graft. Then we have done vascularized through the graft. Now the patient is okay. So that's a non vascularized? Vascularized. That. Mm -hmm. hey, could you 